Hello everyone, we are back with some more Sage fan games. Slight spoilers, most of these games are pretty rough. So the first game is Mega Man Power Adventure. This plays and looks similar to Mega Man The Power Battle, which was an arcade style fighting-ish style game. Uh, in this game, you can select a few different characters. I picked Bass, or Bass, and uh, you know, there's no surprise there. I always pick him any chance I get. Uh, I didn't pick um, any of the other characters, he's the only one that I picked. So, um, you can shoot enemies that appear on the screen and advance further in the stage when prompted. It's pretty straightforward. I didn't have x pattern on this PC, so I had to make do with a keyboard, uh, which was a little bit difficult to maneuver with. Uh, it looks pretty, but it got boring really fast. It was just like enemies would appear on the screen, you just shoot them up, and then, you know, move further into the stage. Next is Monster World 4 Regenesis. I feel like I've played this game before at a previous age, or maybe it was one of the prequel versions. After all, this is number 4. So, it's a 2D style platform RPG style game that seems to be heavily inspired by Shantae the Genie. Um, I thought that the game controlled okay. I had no idea where to go, however. I would try to collect all the items in the stage and then continue on, you know, to the right side of the screen, but I kept getting this prompt that I have to find a crystal first. So, you know, after just trying to go back and find this dang crystal, uh, I had no luck finding it, so I eventually just gave up. I think this game is alright otherwise. The next game is called Project After Shadow. This is a 2D platforming game starring Shadow the Hedgehog. This is from one of those older game engines people used to use back in like 2015. This game is so rough. There's so many things wrong with it. Like the enemies won't move nor do they have proper collision. So I would just swing at them until they vanish. So I guess I would defeat them. I don't know if I was taking damage or not. It was just really weird. Uh, you can do a short range teleport and wall kicks as well as shadow signature move, the chaos blast. But you never really get much mileage out of these moves because of how short the stage was. Uh, I think the creator of this game knows exactly what kind of rating that this game should get. So I'm just gonna leave it by saying that this game is really rough. Thank you. 
The next game is Project Mustard, which is a 3D platforming game on the Unity engine. So Unity is such a beautiful engine and nothing but greatness comes from this thing and this game is going to be no different. So you'll play as this furry character, I'm not exactly sure what it is, but they have similar moves to Sonic the Hedgehog, like spin dashing, homing attacks, rail grinding, etc. The level design here is kind of cool. It's uh, it's set up in a way where uh, you'll have the chance to test all of your abilities that the character has. So the control of this game is really great. You can reach some high speeds and turn through the curves and the slopes quite easily. This is the best game that I've played uh, this session by far. If I can give some constructive constructive criticism however it would be that the homing attack can be inaccurate at some times like if there are multiple targets close to each other like if I try to an attack an enemy with a homing attack but instead I'll homing attack into like one of the poles that have like a node on it so that was like my slight gripe with it and the animations of the character looks a bit stiff and unfinished but other than that, I would say that this is a great game. I really enjoyed my time with this one, and it has controller support. So that's going to do it for me for this session. Next time we return, we actually have a Pulse Man fan game, so that's going to be pretty exciting. And after that, it's just nothing but Sonic fan games, so it's going to be smooth sailing from here. Uh, I'm going to shut down with that. Thank you all for watching, and I will see you next time.